How you doing Libras? It's your friend Dharma here. We're doing a week long intuitive tarot spread. Maybe not tarot. We're also using Lenormand. We're also using fairies. Um, I'm your friend Dharma and this is on my channel. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Um, I guess we're starting out with the fairies, seeing as how I just picked this up and started rolling. The first card that we've got coming out is Nelise. And Nelise the Alchemist. So this is like, um, I always consider her, oh my goodness. So, okay. Wow. Look at these powerful ladies that just came out, okay? Doesn't have to be feminine, but they're feminine in the cards, so that's what I'm gonna go with, all right? You have, first and foremost, this is someone who at the core of their emotional being, so the masculine mus musician, magician is what I consider like in the tarot, the dude that has all, all four of the elements plus ether, and he makes things 3D. Nelise, on the other hand, she does alchemy in the mind and spirit. And it would seem that there is some kind of ending, right, that is, it's not even an ending of, or it's not a relationship, it's, it's the ending of a way of feeling, a way of needing to, a way of needing to be gratified. Because I think that there is someone in the mix who changes that for you. I don't know how else to, it's like there, there's someone around that Libra wants or has, but they're, they're a, they're a slippery slope. And I think being Venusian led, Libra's like, yay, partnership, togetherness, forever, whatever. And this person's like, you know, that's not how I, that is not how I roll. And it changes things for Libra because it's like, well, if I want this person or situationship, then I need to adjust. For some of you as an attitude, I can attest to that. Okay, I don't know if you saw the weekend reading, but I am just living in the salt mines this weekend, okay? But this is somebody who basically gets an attitude adjustment. And, and that's not always a bad thing. It doesn't mean that Libra is, you know, it might even be Libra dishing it out. Like, look, you need to come at me correct. Like, I can work with your rules or whatever this is, but you need to come at me correct. Yeah. Bam. Spiritual will. This is, this is this, right? She's like, have the sword. And you come in and you're like, Phew. it's either, it's either you come at me correct or I'm going to cut you out. And that's the thing is Libras don't do confrontation. We don't like to fight. We want to talk about stuff. Show me your scale. I'll show you my scale and we'll see if they balance. That's, that's how we roll folks but it feels like there's some kind of compromise that needs to happen over the week ahead in order to bring balance. Because I think that there's two people who like dig each other, right? But there might even be, um, I was gonna say polar opposites, but then the Hobjab came out. I don't know what his real name is. It's this fucking guy. He's a troll, right? He's, he's, um, Adelina Bond. I love her. She calls him the bully, which, right? Except he lives in your mind. It's like you've got, and this is a, a Virgo Libra time period, right? So you have Libra sitting here like, well, you know, everything has to change. And, but, I, but, but with this guy coming out, this is like, well, if I do this, then this is gonna happen to me and that's gonna happen to me and here's all the reasons why I shouldn't transform. There's never a reason why a person shouldn't transform. 
my cat is in the kitchen having her way with stuff. There's never a reason why I put a person shouldn't like want to transform. And this guy is like, here's all the reasons why you shouldn't. And I think for a while, at least for the past, you know, week or so, if not more, Libra has been listening, listening to this person. They don't like you. They don't want you. Rejection, 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 rejection. And then finally, at some point during the week, Libra's like, no, no more of that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, no, I'm not playing a game. So, um, moving on to the Lenormand, for those of you who have not been acquainted, this is my new deck, the Intuit Oracle. Love, love, love this deck. It's Lenormand, but it's like got all kinds of stuff in it. <clears throat> yeah, see? the waterfall. There is some kind of release this weekend. I uh, said this week, this week ahead. Okay. Release uh, and water is emotions, right? But this is coming out like, ugh, like, like floodgates. Okay. And this is someone like, look, this is why I've been standoffish. This is why I, I'm, I'm afraid because of all the things in my head and you make me nervous and I'm afraid to come at you correct because I'm going to put all this effort in to come in correct and you're just going to hurt me. But then you have the snowflake, okay? It would seem that there's something about this relationship that has been perfectly designed, perfectly orchestrated, absolutely detailed in every way, shape or form for Libra. It's just like when they get it, they're like, yeah, no, 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 no. There's something wrong. It's not moving fast enough. There's not, this isn't, isn't for me, but a snowflake will fall no matter what happens. And so it's like, I mean, these two came out together. So I feel like this is actually the other person. Okay. Coming at you like, look, I am so fucking scared. I'm scared of how perfectly designed and or orchestrated, you know, this, this, this is big. It's too big for me. I, I don't, I like my independence. I like, it's too much for me. I can't handle it. Yeah. So that's the, the masculine saying that, right? The man. So it would seem that the person with the problem or problem fears is the is the masculine because I, I think he's been through the ringer before. It would seem like it would seem like there is solid reason to be apprehensive. Um I just I feel like there's this Libra going <sighs> Like, why would you think about me like that? But it, I don't think it has anything to do with the feminine Libra. I think it has to do with um, the past. So we have here the full moon queen, right? And so this may have transpired on the full moon or we may be looking at this transpiring on the next full moon. But I think what's important um, to recognize about full moons is that they illuminate beauty. I don't know if you've ever like walked outside and been like, damn, that's pretty. That's, I mean, that's me, right? The full moon is, you can't miss it. If it's there, people are like, you know, and so that's kind of like what this is. It's like, um, there's something so bright and so beautiful. It's like the snowflake, but I do feel like the moon itself, that was, I think that's a timing card because it, it's either about the Aquarian full moon that we just had or what's next, Pisces, the Pisces full moon. So the coffin there is, and I mean, you've got, you also have 
the Lady of the Harvest here who talks about a death. So there is absolutely something that is probably ending. And I mean, the coffin does talk about a breakup, but it doesn't have to be that. Um, but there's something ending. And it might be that Libra is going to cut somebody. Like, look, if you can't get past whatever your friggin' problem is, then we can't do this. It's just... <laughs> and then you get fireworks. You see how we're being Libra about it? <laughs> That's what we do. That's how we roll. It's like there's an ending to discouragement there is an ending to oh it's hot in here um i heard stagnancy i just heard there's an ending to the way life is as you know it and it's being replaced with fireworks there is joy, sparks, togetherness, chemistry. There is, and it's scary as shit. This is what I'm saying. This man is like, oh God, I'm feeling all of this. I'm feeling all of this and it's, it's too much, it's too much, it's too much. I just wanna keep talking about how the masculine is trying to put the kibosh on it. Trying to, but there's, but it's like when you light dynamite or you light a firework you need to light it and then run you're not gonna put it out you can't but I also want to talk about the sex that there's something about it that is like <sighs> explosive and maybe because of that it puts an end to this like I can I can I can see a masculine who is like how is something that is this good and this perfectly detailed for me how can that be bad how can something that beautiful want to turn around and then hurt me and and I and I think the word want to is important like it feels like at some point in this person's life somebody wanted to hurt them and that's not cool <sighs> you the dolphins you see what i'm saying so there there is an absolute ending to the way that so so i'm kind of feeling like if you were single there you're not single anymore and you're kind of being forced to transform into how to get along in a pack. Two dolphins, they mate for pleasure. You know, they have a lot of fun together. They have a lot of fun together. And there's something about the fun. There's something about the sex. There's something about all of the 3D pleasures that drives this man crazy. You know? He keeps coming back because he can't get enough, but he's scared shitless. And I don't mean to, if you're the masculine watching this, I don't mean to call you like a coward. That's not what that is. This is being cautious. This is being, I'm afraid of you because I know what this, I know how this ends. But there's so much fun. There's so much laughter. There's so much joy. There's so much like peas in a pod, right? Yeah, see? The fool. You just leap. Oh my god. And then the firefly. See, there's all this fire. So I don't know if you're dealing with a fire moon sign or whatever. What is all this? I'm taking all these cards. Okay. <clears throat> so you, here's your firefly, right? Firefly talks about hot sex. 
talks about things that get lit up in the dark, talks about um, someone that is absolutely exceptional. And that's, what, and that's what I'm saying is this man is like, damn, just damn. But they're afraid to say so. And here we have, with that is the letter. So this is probably a text. So at some point you're probably gonna get a, hey, what's up? Or, you know, W-Y-D or some shit, right? Just to, just to, to reignite, that's kind of like lighting the fireworks and then running away. Hey, what's up? You know. You, you get the text and then you, that's taking a leap because I think that at some point the man, I keep saying the man because that's what that card says, the man, right? Probably push Libra away. And so now they're like, well, let's, let's try to light this. And then, and then it's the sun here again with the fire. I mean, it might be a Leo moon sign or sun sign does not have to be could have happened during the Lionsgate portal could have been manifested during the big black Leo new moon whatever it's the sun it's it's warm it's happy it makes things grow and then you have the freaking wine this is something that ages well over time so I kind of feel like Okay, so I live in upstate New York and there's lots of wineries around here and you can watch it. It's really cool to process. And I'm like seeing this image of like when you very first dump the chemicals together, the grapes, there are, it's yucky. <laughs> and it takes a minute to like settle and it takes a minute to like get a groove and then things have to mix. I just feel like there's something about, I think that one person in this was like, let's do this now. And the other person was like, and so now we're trying to get all of the right ingredients to mix. It's just, there's something off about this man. And we'll get some more information about this. I'm going to put this one to the side because there's something about this man that's a little off and you can't seem to put your finger on it and that might be because they're like mysterious I don't know they're not they're not saying something but look with the fiery sword you got the tracks this is about moving forward this is about going knowing exactly where the destination is and staying on track and I think that there's probably a conversation over the week where it's like, well, we could do this or we could do that or we could do this and that. And somebody's like, yo, be on these tracks because that's, that's how, that's how we're going to reach the destination. Don't, don't get off the track. But at the same time, this person is a little bit of a grizzly bear. Okay, I think that's something new that you might learn about this week. I think that that is a new side to the person and I think Libra can handle it. I don't think that a person should have to handle a person, that, but this is like, this is just somebody who is like, look, I'm really, really protective of my independence. So you need to kind of do things this way or I'm not going to get on your train and go with you. Okay. And so that's, that's, I think that's what cuts. I think that's the thing that, that cuts is that someone lays down real boundaries. Like, look, if we're going to do this, we're going to do this my way. And this is the road. This is the road that we're going to take. This is how you take the road. This is how you get on the road. This is what you do. 
And I think Libra's like, okay. Or the feminine, anyway, is like, all right. It's, it's compromise, okay? I think that's important. To, this is all compromise. So what I want to do now is an extended, we're going we're gonna to look into all this, okay? Um, but I need to see, there's something about a big change, okay? Something completely ends and something completely starts all at the same time. And I think it's with the same person, okay? But there's this other layer of this person has another side that you haven't met yet, okay? So let's go to the extended and figure all that out. The link for that is in the box below. It takes you to Vimeo, great platform, whatever. Um, and if this is where I part ways, thank you so much for stopping by. Absolutely appreciate it. Please do like, subscribe, and share. And uh, let's go to Vimeo. Link's below, and uh, we'll take it from there. Until next time, you have a good one. Bye, leaves.